What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Project Ozone 2 Kappa Mode. Oh, yeah, guys. So, last episode, we were working towards getting ourselves to have the Galactic Craft quest line unlocked. And yeah, we ended up making some of these mechanism power supplies in order to do that. Uh, we got a bounding block here. What is this? A wind generator? And then we have a solar generator. We made ourselves a bio generator over here. And we made a crusher and. Yeah, lots of different mechanism machines, and that's really cool. Uh, but I am very interested in getting along to the Galactocraft stuff here. Uh, there's a lot of quests that we need to get through. We won't be able to do all of these today. Each one of these rockets depends on us going to another planet, defeating a boss, and then coming back and then building a new rocket. Like, you can't upgrade your rocket. You have to start all the way over from scratch and build it all the way up to the next tier every single time. So it's a lot of crafting. Uh, I'm interested in getting a lot of that stuff automated, so we'll see about that. Uh, but the very first quest here is called Circuit Wafer. So let's take a look at this. It says the Circuit Fabricator is a machine block that is used to produce the Blue Solar Wafer, Basic Wafer, and the Advanced Wafer. Okay, so it wants us to make the Circuit Fabricator. It's going to give us a chance cube and a chest when we're done, so let's check this out. Circuit fab, this thing right here. Okay, so to make a circuit fabricator, we need to get ourselves two endurium, two electro silicon, two vibrant crystals, and then a machine housing. The machine housing, this is the same thing I believe we use for the infinite waters. These are pretty easy to make, just some brass carbide and then some copper, really. All right, electro silicon. This is a new item that we haven't had to make yet. So it's electrotene around silicon. The silicon is made from a silicon bool. The silicon bool is made from sandy coal that has been smelted. And you get sandy coal by wrapping sand around a coal block. So let's start there, okay? Let's do it. Uh, so do we have any sand available? No. All of our sand is still downstairs in this storage drawer. We don't have anything hooked up together uh, into our inventory panel, except everything that's right here in our storage drawers. Eventually, when we get applied energistics, that'll all change. We could run the uh, Ender IO inventory cable everywhere if we wanted to and get it all connected, but nah, I haven't really felt the need to do that yet. So coal, we will do coal here. That'll make sandy coal compound. Now, I believe it said that we got seven or eight of those silicon bools from smelting one of these. So let's smelt this down and see what we get. Oh, and it's all gone right away. No, we just get one silicon bowl. What was I looking at? Oh, you know what? It said seven because there's seven things or eight things here, right? Okay, so we get one. So we need a saw. And I don't know if the stone saw is going to work or if I have to use the diamond saw. It does not look like this is going to work. Okay, so we need to make ourselves whoops, a diamond saw. We can do that pretty easily at this point. So that is some stone rods or stone tool rods, some sticks, and a diamond. And we don't have everything <laughs> available. So we can easily make these stone rods if we have smooth stone. And then we do. All right, so that gives us four of those. That's pretty inexpensive. Okay, there we go. So this is now a diamond saw. So we should be able to do this and this. There we go. There's eight silicon. All right, so we needed to wrap the silicon with electrotene. Oh, okay. We don't have Electrotene up here. I guess that's all downstairs from our sifting operations. We haven't really had to use Electrotene in a while, to be honest. And how much do we have here? <laughs> Almost 13,000 of it. Let's take a stack of blocks. All right, cool. So yeah, then we take this, we wrap it with the dust, then we smelt that for the stuff that we're looking for. We'll unblockify all that. I guess we'll do two like this. Two of those, perfect, and get those smelted. All right, so the next thing that we needed to do to get this going, uh, we need the vibrant crystals, which requires a lot of vibrant alloy. Yep. All right, so we need to get vibrant stuff. Now, I believe we did 10, 10, 10 those seeds last time, right? Uh, pulsating energetic. Oh, you know what? We never made that because it required the temperio essence. Uh, I did make the energetic alloy. Yep. Uh, that required the Zavicio, and then I also made pulsating iron, electrical steel, and I've been kind of going through these and 10, 10, 10 all of these. I just got done doing the obsidian, and I think we're doing nether right now, nether seeds. 
what are these right here yeah these are the nether ones okay those are about halfway done right now so that's pretty awesome okay so we don't have vibrant unless i made some over here did i i keep making things and forgetting about it so it looks like we got a little bit of vibrant there uh so we needed the vibrant crystals which is that around these player cores do we have any player cores does not look like it so we can easily craft those up just need two of those Send those back away, do one of these and one of those, and here we go. Okay, so there's that. All right, so we got those. We should have Enderium and all oh, the energy tablets, right? Okay, so we're going to have to do a bunch of these. Do I have any capacitors? Uh, click in here, please. <laughs> Capacitor? No, we don't. All right, so speaking about capacitors, uh, we're going to need those to uh, make uh, the different energy tablets that we need. But speaking about those, I took some time and I went and I upgraded our capacitor seed area here. So you can see right away, we have a lot more sprinklers up above. We have 13 octatic, 122 double layer, and 196 single, right? So that's pretty good. So I ended up doubling our capacitors here. So that's pretty awesome. So now we got six of them going at a time. Uh... So this is our setup over here. In order to get these to work though, since uh, this harvester by default can only do a three by three. Let me show you this. Let me grab this precision, precision sledgehammer. Since this can only do a three by three, we're missing an iron bar that should be right where this thing is, or I guess a dark steel bar, dark iron bar. Um, so I had to wrap this around the backside like this to provide that extra one. You can see that's different than this side over here where they just kind of go out one block further than the plant yeah so we have to wrap them around the back like this and then that provides enough of the bars for this to be fertile and can grow mm -hmm. so the way this is set up now we have the power just going directly into this capacitor bank and then this is being extracted the power the power is being extracted i should say into the harvester and then it continues on and being sent over to this other capacitor bank so all these things are being full now. This one's providing the power for everything. So this one, you can see the power kind of fluctuating a little bit, sending and getting filled back up. Yeah, so that's pretty awesome. All right, so anyway, we needed to get ourselves these capacitors. So let me go ahead and grab these and we'll continue working on the stuff that we need and we'll be right back, guys. All right, guys, so after a lot of crafting, we finally got everything set up to make the circuit fabricator. Now this says circuit fabricator will process basic materials into silicon wafers used for advanced machines. Okay, let's craft this thing. Cool. So there's our first Galacticraft quest completed. Uh, we'll take a loot chest. Let's do that. And then the next one is the compressor. So it says the compressor is a tier one machine block that is used to compress different kinds of ingots and convert them into compressed metal sheets and platings just by being powered by coal. Yeah, so we're going to want this. In fact, there's another version. There's like an advanced compressor that we're going to really want. But for right now, the compressor is going to get us through. So let's make a compressor from Galacticraft. Now, there is a lot of different compressors. <laughs> Uh, where is the one that we want? Is it one of these? That's the electric one. This is the one that we're looking for, this guy. So that's a dark steel anvil, two steel plates, another machine housing, and then some electrotine alloy ingot. So the electrotine alloy ingot, like I said, we haven't really had a chance to use this for a while. We haven't really had much use for it. Uh, I know we had some, but I don't know how much we had. So let's just craft up or cook up all seven of the ones that we need. Uh, the machine housing, yeah, we can do this pretty easily. Just craft two of those i had to do this just a second ago uh is this the right machine no this is the electric one let's see we need this this that one of those and then we can do this and that oh okay i guess we're probably ran out of the carbide let's take a look yep we are out of carbide so that's easy stuff to make though so that's just coal right around a tungsten and we've gotten don't we have tungsten? Well, we have this stuff here. I guess I will cook up some of this tungsten ore. There's probably a better way to do it than in this diamond furnace, but uh, we get two per smelting operation. So you know what? That's going to work just fine for me. Okay, so we will go back to here and make the carbide. We're out of coal. Okay. That is an easy thing to fix. I'll have to grab some more from down below. Go and wrap that all the way around there. I'll do two recipes. Oh, I didn't make I didn't learn it. <laughs> I'll do two recipes. That's fine. 
carbide ingot can go back in there. Um, yeah, we'll put the Pluto away. Okay, I think we should be able to do this now. There it is. There's a machine housing. All right, so dark steel anvil required dark steel blocks. I don't even know how much dark steel we have. Not enough to make two blocks. Hmm, that's kind of a problem. So how much dark steel essence do we have over here? <laughs> Not a whole lot. I think you only get one per nine. I think you only get one ingot per nine of these. Let's check that out. No, you get two. Oh, that's better than I was thinking. Okay, that's really good then. We'll convert all of this stuff into <laughs> dark steel. This is, yeah, this dark steel essence is from when we were growing the crops into the 10, 10, 10 version. Yeah, we just got this from doing that. So that's really awesome. Okay, so there's three dark steel blocks. That is perfect. All right, so we need four dark steel total. We had another one in the system. I like it. All right, so there's our dark steel anvil. Uh, steel plates, so engineer's hammer plus steel. Yeah, we have the hammer here, and then we have plenty of steel, or we should have plenty of steel in here. So two of those, two plates. Is that all that we needed? I think that might be it. Okay, so there's a compressor. Perfect. That should do our next quest. There it is. All right, so another quest down. We'll go ahead and mark that one done. All right, so that's unlocked this one, which I think starts unlocking these, or do you have to do this one and this one to unlock this one? I'm not really sure. I see the two lines right here, right? So electric compressor, this is the one we want. That requires the compressor in the recipe, I believe. It says it has the same use as a non-electric compressor. Its advantage is that it is not necessary to use coal or wood to power it. Instead, it has to be powered with energy okay i think it's also faster although i'm not 100 percent sure on that but that's what this guy's looking like so you put fuel here you put the stuff here and then a, uh over time it'll make a plate or whatever it is that it does okay so we will pick this one back up so the electric compressor yeah it does use the regular compressor in the recipe we have to make another one of these great flux batteries these things are those things are fun to make. We need advanced wafers. Okay, so this is different. So we need to use our circuit fabricator that we made. So we need a diamond, some silicon, redstone, and a redstone repeater. Redstone repeater. I did not see. Did that make three of these at a time? Three of the advanced wafers? It might. I'm not sure. I'll make a few of these extras because I think we're going to need those for later. All right, so there is four redstone repeaters. We need some redstone dust. Probably more than that. Let's go ahead and grab a little bit more. So silicon. Are we out of silicon? Oh, man. What happened to all of our silicon? All right. Well, let's grab that sand that I had <laughs> left over. Sand goes right in here, and that should be turned into silicon. Uh, the flint makes it go a little bit. You can kind of get two at a time, a little bit of the time. Anyway, uh, we need silicon. Well, let's sit down the circuit fabricator. We haven't looked at this machine yet. Again, we're just going to kind of plop it down haphazardly. We'll find a perfect spot for this thing a little bit later. So we need the redstone repeater. We need the redstone. We need diamonds. And then we need the silicon right here. Uh, let me grab a diamond. Or, I don't know, maybe we'll do like, how about eight? Eight sounds like a good... Well, we can only do four because we only have four repeaters, right? So let's do four of those. We'll grab the silicon. And diamonds and the silicon. It's not doing anything. <laughs> All right, so let's take a look at this again. So the electric compressor requires these advanced wafers. So diamond, silicon, redstone, redstone repeater. Oh, right. Right. The Galactic Craft machines have to be powered from the specific side. Yeah. So in order for this to work, we have to face it this way. All right. So let's undo this. I had completely forgotten about that. Okay. So circuit fabricator this way. Yeah. Now it connects. Now it's getting power. Now it'll work. Okay. So redstone repeaters, silicon, diamonds. Okay, so now things are happening. <laughs> yeah, I completely forgot about the whole it has to be facing the certain direction thing. This is like one of the few mods out there that requires that. Hmm. Anyway, I forget. Do we get three? We get one. Okay, so we had to do at least two of these, so we got to wait for the second one. 
Uh, so we got those cooking up now. So the electric compressor also requires titanium wafers. So that's titanium ingots with kind of the same thing. Redstone torch instead of the repeaters. That's fine. We can do that. I believe we should have extra redstone torches. Did I not make extra? I thought I did. Maybe I didn't. Okay. Well, let's make some redstone torches then. Grab some sticks. We have plenty of silicon in there already. I guess we'll do four of those as well. Uh, so that was the redstone torches. Oh man, I can't remember now. Let's go back to the electric compressor and click on this. So that, that, and then the titanium. Okay, that's easy. Well, it does not look like we have titanium smelted. So what's the uses on the titanium? Do we have to crush it first or should we... Enrichment chamber, purification... Pulverizer. Okay, so if we pulverize it, we can get up to three. We could do the induction smelter with cinnabar and get four every time. So that's like a pretty common thing. Sagma looks like we can get 2.1 per, as just the same as the other. QED. Here we go. This is what we want to do. QED guarantee, guarantees three at a time. So we'll grab three, four coal. Yeah. So we should get 12 out of this. So titanium plus this. There we go. That's really awesome. Okay. So now we got our titanium. Now I think it has to be a specific version or is this going to work? Maybe that'll work just fine. Okay. Well, let's go see what happens when we put this over here in our circuit fabricator. So four of those and four of these. Oh, let's take that out first. So that's not going in there. So why is that not going in? Is this a different? Okay. I'm not sure what I did wrong. Titanium ingot. So it is a different kind. Titanium ore. So are we getting titanium down here? Is that a thing? Titanium ore. All right. I guess this other stuff that I got is not the correct stuff. So this we have plenty of, we'll just throw it in here then. Maybe it's this kind converts the other kind. Maybe that's what I'm thinking of. Nope. Hmm. I thought that there was a way you could convert between the two of them. Apparently I am mistaken. And then that goes in there just fine. Okay. So we'll let this cook up and I'll do the rest of the crafting and we'll be right back. All right, guys. So once again, we got the crafting all done for this electric compressor. It says the electric compressor will process ingots into their compressed equivalents, compresses two at a time, making it more effective than its predecessor. So that's pretty awesome. Okay. So we'll grab this one. Let's set this down. Quest complete. And we'll take a look at this. So yeah, this does have an energy thing down here. Now I assume this is, yeah, battery slot. I was going to say, I assume this is where we could put like a capacitor or whatever. Uh, this is where the recipe goes and then it outputs into two slots over here. Man, this stuff takes so much dark steel. We really should look at getting our agri-craft online here very soon. We might do that next episode. I'm not sure. Uh, but so we can start getting like the energetic alloy always being made, the pulsating iron and dark steel, like all these kinds of things. We really need that stuff up or that stuff going. I'm cooking up more dark steel right now. Uh, we had some conductive iron. I had to cook up some more pulsating iron over here. Um, I had like 20 of them in here, so I was able to make it without cooking that up. But yeah, I just like having that stuff already pre-made. Like if we need electrical steel for something, we're almost out of that. Anyway, <laughs> so let's claim our reward for this. We'll do the loot chest, claim it. Cool. So, oh yeah, that did unlock these two. And then I guess these unlock these ones down here. Got it. So that's a refinery and detected. All right, well, let's take a second here. Instead of just going directly into another quest, let's open our stuff. So cobblestone framework, that's pretty good. This creates cobblestone from energy, can be upgraded with alloy smelters, sag mills, and crafters to produce different materials. That's pretty awesome. Okay, so if we need cobblestone later, we're going to be using this uh, loot chest. Let's open this one. So decorative lamps. And finally... This one down here, another dirt chest 9,000. <laughs> we get so many of those things. I think we already have those in the system. So I just feel okay throwing them in there. I don't feel like I'm wasting any space. I don't think we ever got a cobblestone framework before. Did we No, this is our first one. Okay. So we'll just put that in there. It'll get its own slot quarter of a heart. Cool. Yeah. And the uh, titanium wafers, you do get three at a time. So, you know, <laughs> All right, so electric compressor. I don't think we have to use that right now. No, wrong one. This one. 
let's take a look. So we need a detected O2 collection, O2 sealer, NASA. So we want to work up this tree here so we can build our rocket. But this tree over here has the fuel loader and the launch pad. So we have to go up both of these trees before we can really do anything. Uh, all right, so let's go detected. So this is an oxygen detector. So the oxygen detector requires compressed steel. Okay, so we have to make our first steel plates. So that takes a minute. Let oh, Can you just punch this? I don't want to break it. I'm going to use my pick. I don't know if you can just punch it or if that will make it break. So I don't feel like testing it. <laughs> so we'll set this here. Okay, so it's getting power from this side. Uh, we will disconnect this because that's not supposed to be connected. All right, so we need steel in there. All right. Steel. Maybe we will cook up 16 of these. We're going to need a lot of this stuff going. This is something I really want to get automated which means we're going to have to make a lot of these electric compressors in the future. But yeah, you put in two stacks like that and then you get, I don't know if it gives you four at a time or two at a time. I don't remember exactly how this works. All right. So you get two at a time. We only needed two of those. I do believe. No, we need three. I was wrong. We do need a basic wafer too. So that is a diamond plus some silicon and a redstone torch. That's another thing we haven't gotten hooked up yet. So we'll go ahead and do some redstone and some sticks. We'll just cook up all of those. How about a couple of diamonds? Not the diamond, not the diamond chest. <laughs> Let's do, I don't know, four of those. That seems like a good number to do. It's always good to have these things left over, ready to go for next time. All right. So those would be cooking up too. Yeah. You can see this galactic craft stuff kind of takes a while for everything to get done. Uh, we also need to compress aluminum. I don't know if we've had to use aluminum for anything else yet. Let's take a look. We, we don't even have any in the system, so we haven't even cooked any up at all in this series yet. I think it's this pink stuff right here. Yeah. All right, so we'll grab a stack of that. And should we smeltery it? Sure, why not? We'll smeltery it. We'll cast it onto blocks. Uh, I need 63, not the full stack. All right, there we go. So that'll cast out. And we will start getting aluminum down here. Um, anything else crazy we need to do? These oxygen vents are just pressure tubes. More compressed steel. I didn't notice that. And compressed tin. All right. So there's a lot of compressing to do. A lot of waiting on the Galacticraft machines. So let me continue on doing this, guys. And we will be right back. And after all that waiting around, here we go. Oxygen detector. Yes. Finally got that one done. Okay. So we'll claim this one as well. And what did that do? That unlocked our O2 collection. So this guy here, oxygen detector says, will emit a redstone signal when surrounded by oxygen. So that would probably be good if you setting up some kind of a base on a planet or if you're setting up, oh, I don't know, a space station or something. You want to make sure it's sealed and that there's plenty of breathable oxygen. That's kind of cool. Um, I don't know if we're going to be using that too much. It didn't seem like when I played through Kappa mode previously that I needed to set up a base on any of the different planets. So yeah, we'll see. We'll see. So let's pop this open ball of moss cloud in a bottle and a smashing rock. All right. So I still want to continue along this quest line. <laughs> uh, as fast as we can get through galactic craft, the better. I almost feel like I should just craft all these different things and we can look at them after we're done. So you know what? I think I might do that. Uh, the O2 collection says oxygen collector is a block that gathers oxygen from leaves and farm plants to use in an oxygen bubble distributor, oxygen sealer, oxygen compressor, and other oxygen reliant machines. So we have to make both an oxygen collector and an oxygen compressor. Now, both of those would be good. Like I said, if we're going to be filling a space full of oxygen, but we got other ways that we're going to be able to breathe on these other planets and stuff. So it's not that important for us to, to go through it and learn about all that stuff. But anyway, I'm going to go and see if we can try and get all these things unlocked. Uh, I would like to be able to get to the point where we can build the rocket. And I don't think we're going to have time today to do it. But I would like to get to that point so we can blast off for next time. So let me start busting through these and we'll be right back, guys. All right, guys. Well, I thought we were just going to bust through the crafting and be done with it in no time. It'd just be a little bit of off camera work, but you know, 
we've gotten some of the quests done, but there's a lot more that's involved in making this stuff happen than what I thought initially. So yeah, for instance, this old two collection, I had to complete this one manually. Uh, you can see it's a zero out of one on the oxygen compressor. Turns out with the inventory panel, if you put items in here and you shift click out, it does not register. You have to just click it normally and then it registers. I think that's the problem. At least that's what I remember happening this time. And I think that's what happened the previous time. So anyway, I had to complete this one manually. Uh, you can see we got through the O2 sealer. We got the NASA workbench completed. We got this stuff done. So I started going along this tree over here to get to the oxygen gear. So we did the refinery and we're into the fuel loader. So fuel loader seems like that was going to be pretty easy. Uh, just some glass, some compressed copper, basic fuel tanks, factory machine block. This is the second one I've had to make of these. So that required machine frame, electrical steel, and plastic sheets on the assembly table. Not that bad. So we got that done. So I wanted to go make this reactor glass. I was like, oh, reactor frame and glass. All right, so re reactor frame requires steel casings, four of them. Yep. And then atomic alloy. So the atomic alloy is made with a reinforced alloy with the refined obsidian dust. Okay. Reinforced alloy is made with diamond dust put onto an enriched alloy. Yeah. So we have to make some new things here. And I figured I'd bring you guys back in so you can see how this works. So I made an enriched alloy here and we got diamond dust here. Diamond dust goes in there, enriches this even further to the diamond variant. Yeah. And then we have another diamond dust and I think we have to put some obsidian and I don't remember if it's one or if it's four or how much this works. Uh, let's figure this out. So diamond dust here and pulverized obsidian two. Does that even work? Does it have to go the other way? Maybe it's the other way. Let's do this way. Aha. All right. So as diamond dust infuses pulverized obsidian to do something. Yeah, it's been a while since I've messed around with this stuff, but I kind of remember how it works. All right. So now we have refined obsidian dust. So we put that here plus this one. So two diamonds, two redstone, and then the capacitor, I think is what it costs to make uh, one of these atomic ones. So it's a little pricey. Mm -hmm. So there's the atomic alloy. Awesome. All right. So to continue on here, we needed to get these steel casings. I don't remember. I don't think we have extras of these. So yeah, that is 16 steel four black plastic. And then some of those reinforced ones. Yeah, we have some of these over here. So we got four of that. We need 16 steel. Steel. We have six. <laughs> All right, so I did start cooking up another stack over here in our blast furnace. All right, so we got that under control. That's fine. And then we needed four black plastic. So let's get that. Are we going to run out of dyes? We might. Nope, we're good. Okay, so we got everything here. So if you guys remember, we had our pneumatic craft pressure chamber thing over here. We can just warp the items in there. So we'll do that, that, and this. And those all get turned into our steel casings like so. Uh, where is my magnet? I guess I must have put my magnet <laughs> away. Let's go take a look at that. Normally I keep it on my hotbar. I don't know how I did that. Item dislocator. Yeah, we got three of them in here. All right. So yeah, we're going to use the magnet to pull these items out. Eventually we will have like the advanced item collector, which will grab the items from the inside. But for right now, for what we're doing until we get it automated, yeah, this works just fine for me. Okay, so we needed this atomic alloy for those. There we go. There's the reactor frame. And then we needed those around a piece of glass to make four reactor glass. Cool. And I think that might do it. We have compressed copper, reactor glass, these basic fluid tanks, which is iron redstone. Very cheap. All right. Oh, I guess I won't shift click in there. Okay, so factory machine block two of these things. Uh, I guess it's these tanks because they don't stack. They won't go in there. And then we needed the compressed copper. Like, so ah, fuel loader. <laughs> okay. Yeah. There's a lot of stuff that goes into this Galacticraft stuff, guys, a whole lot of it. I think we're just going to go ahead and claim the rest of our rewards for today. Uh, there's a lot of them. I don't know if I have room in my inventory for all this. I think it might fall on the ground if I don't. We good? Did I have room? I did have room for everything. That's surprising. Look at all these different compressed things we have to make. And then it takes time to make each and every one of those. Yeah, like what? 20 seconds or 30 seconds, whatever it is. It takes a while for each one of those to go through all these wafers, steel, you know, all that stuff out of my inventory. All right. And then finally the uh, chance cubes. 
So let's open these things up and see what we get for all of our trouble so far. Uh, we got magazine, revolver, and an engineer's workbench. That's kind of cool. All right, so we got in this one, ME security terminal and security desk. Okay, so the security terminal will help us out a little bit later. We need this to link up our wireless terminal to our applied energistic system. Obviously, it's not going to help right now because we don't have that, but it will help in the future. Cat ears and thick eyebrows. I haven't seen that one for a little while. Uh, we just got this one earlier. Same thing. And then finally, our last one is a flux infused hammer. Well, okay. <laughs> I guess that works for me. So we'll put all those things away. Uh, we got to find a spot for all of our Galactic Craft stuff. And then we're going to have to find a, st a spot for all of our automation for our Galactic Craft stuff. I think we're going to use this spot right here for now for our launch pad and all of that. I haven't quite decided. We might even have to expand this base out further so we can get more room. And if so, we'll probably add another 15 by 15 here and maybe even another one here and kind of go around and do this like a four by four kind of a thing. I don't know. I really don't know how much space we're going to need for everything. I was thinking this was going to be big enough, but it's big enough for what we've done so far. But as we keep going, we need more and more room. So yeah, we might expand this out even further. All right, guys, we're going to go and wrap the episode up here for today. It was a very, very crafty episode. We didn't really get a whole lot done other than starting to work through some of the early Galactic Craft stuff. And unfortunately, there's not a lot of interesting things to see in there. There's a lot of just like machines to make crafts and stuff like that. Uh, hopefully, we'll get to the AgriCraft stuff soon. Uh, maybe we'll start working on that next episode. And then maybe we will also be able to build a rocket and go to the moon. That'd be really awesome. But anyway, guys, that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to leave a like on the episode if you liked it. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.